welcome back in this step let's write a simple query to delete by id so it should be very simple to do that i'm just copying the find by id now what we want to do is not find by id but delete by id so i would want to delete the user who has a specific id now instead of the query for object what we would use is a method which is present called update so remember whenever you want to execute a query to do some update you use the update method on the jdbc template whether the update is a update or a delete irrespective of that we would be using the update method which is present in the jdbc template and the query is delete from person where id is equal to question mark that's cool and i don't need the mapper because i don't really need to map anything in here the thing is delete by id returns a number back if i go to the update method you would see that it returns a int back if you go further up you would see that it actually prints how many rows were affected so it returns out how many rows are affected by the query so i'll return that back so i'll change the return type to int so this would return how many rows were deleted that's cool so now i'll go here and i would now execute it now i would want to delete not 1001 let's delete 1002 1002 actually and i would say deleting 1002 number of rows deleted is this and over here we would want to say not find but delete by id okay now i can stop and start the application and see what would happen over here you can see that deleting 1002 and number of rows deleted is one because we are expecting one row to be deleted there and we can even go to the h2 console to make sure that we have the right thing present so i'll go to localhost 8080 h2 console i'll do a connect and run so you can see that 10002 is no longer present in the database it's been deleted because we have executed the delete query as part of our launch so here we are deleting the id 10002 and the row is completely deleted in this step we wrote the delete method by id i would recommend you to play around with the deletes so try and delete different persons by different characteristics by passing different parameters in you can even have multiple parameters passed in so I can say x, y, z is equal to something and pass in the value for that in here. So id, comma, whatever value you'd want to pass in. So that's how you would add additional parameters to the query. Actually, I cannot say comma, where, and or whichever SQL thing that you would want to make use of. So try that and I'll see you in the next step.